Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're going to take a look at a Moomba Mobius LSV wakeboard boat. Uh, this boat was built in 2008 but it was first sold in 2009 uh, and it's run approximately 190, just over 190 hours. Um, Moomba have a great reputation for building um, really good value and good quality wakeboard boats um, and the spec on this one is fantastic. It has virtually every option as far as I can tell, um, including the heater, the full factory 1200 pound ballast system, um, wakeboard power, the hydraulic wake plate, uh, you name it, this boat has it. These Moomba Mobius boats are fantastic family wakeboard boats. They're great for beginners um, and intermediate boarders as well as um, more advanced riders with a full the full ballast system, the wake plate, um, you really can tweak the wake um, as you progress as a rider. So that's why they make great family boats or if you're taking a crowd of people out where you've got riders of all different levels, um, a boat like this is a, is a great all-rounder. What we'll do now is we'll, we'll take a walk around the boat, we'll have a look in through it, I'll show you all the features on board, you can get a good idea of the condition that this one's in uh, and hopefully it'll help you decide whether this is the right boat for you. This boat comes with the factory red and black gel coat finish uh, to stick on Moomba graphics. The gel coat is immaculate all the way around the boat. Um, there's no impact damage anywhere on the boat. The rub rail is perfect. Uh, the gel is perfect both above and below the rail. Um, the only marks I could find are just on this, on this transom where people have obviously been putting on and off wakeboards and there's a couple of little scuff marks in the gel from that. <clears throat> but apart from that, it's got a great perfect glass finish. Um, on the exterior of the boat. The other thing you notice just before we jump in the boat is um, there's lots of little really great quality bits of detail on the boat. We've got these Moomba, embossed Moomba pop-up cleats around the boat. Um, little chrome horns around, we've got stainless steel handrails and things throughout, stainless steel fuel filler cap uh, and this great big chunky uh, wakeboard tire complete with stainless steel board racks the water sports mirror and the tyre sound system there with the, the bullet speakers. Um, so although these are known as a, as a value wakeboard boat, um, they can hold their own with the, the higher end models and you definitely doesn't, it does not feel like, a, like an entry level boat whenever, you, whenever you're on board. I mean the, the equipment level, the fit and the finish um, are all top notch. This boat comes on the factory supplied uh, boat bait trailer, which is custom matched to the hull. It's a twin axle unit, it's got chrome wheels, it's got the, the guides to help you load the boat on and off the trailer. Um, it's fully braked, uh, it's fully wired for all your lights as well, uh, and it's in fantastic condition. From the stern, we've got this full width. Um, swim platform which sits right at the water level so it's really easy to get on and off the boat. Um, also gives you lots of room to get your board on whenever you're sitting back here. A nice big chunky stainless steel handrail here. The, the platform itself is uh, rubberized non-skid uh, and it also uh, is removable. It's one of the great things about this boat in that it's 21 and a half feet long. Um, which means it has over 8 feet in the beam, so that means there's loads of room on board, it's rated to carry 13 people. Um, but also, it's the right sort of size that whenever you fold down the tyre, you can park it in a reasonably sized garage without too much trouble. And if you need help in that regard, you can remove the swim platform from the back, and the, the tongue on the trailer also folds closed, folds over, so that um, you know the boat really doesn't take up more than a 21 foot 6 inch length even whenever it's been stored on the trailer. Just taking a look then below the waterline, I just want to show you this uh, hydraulically actuated um, wake plate. So as you get more advanced, you can use this plate to sort of tweak the shape of the wake. Uh, it, it can adjust the ramp angle um, and in combination with the ballast system on board, you can adjust both the height and sort of shape of the wake uh, and also the width. So it means you can really uh, set this up to suit uh, your individual riding style or to suit a variety of different riders. Um, so it's a really great feature on this boat. Whenever you're up on board, you get a real idea for the size of the boat and the space on board. You've got a huge big sun pad across the stern um, over the engine cover and the um, 
two storage apartments in the in the stair quarters. We've got this ski pole here, just mounted behind the U-shaped seating arrangement. Um, so it's a, it's a full wraparound uh, seating style here, um, and it's easily going to accommodate seven or eight people. Like I said, the boat's rated for 12. Um, you've also got seats up on the bow there as well. The upholstery itself is uh, a leather effect vinyl. Um, it's got this nice red and grey detailing to match the, the gelco colours on the exterior of the boat. Um, and it's all in very good condition. A few small spots, just, just some mildew spots, which we haven't really had time to, to go at uh, with any vigour to try and get those out of there. But it's not, it's not that bad. There's no scuffs or scrapes or tears on any of the upholstery. All the stitching is in excellent condition. Um, and everything's all sort of present and correct. You'll notice again, we've got stainless steel cup holders dotted right the way throughout the, throughout the cockpit here. We've got stainless steel handrails, the full marine grade uh, carpeted liners all the way throughout the boat. Uh, and the other thing about this boat is there's absolutely bags of storage underneath all the seats. Storage underneath virtually every seat here. Um, we've got our battery compartment in here under the, the passenger side console. Plenty of storage, fire extinguisher stores down in here. We've also got a couple of uh, lined and draining storage bins. Engine access is straightforward. You don't have to move any cushions or anything. You just lift the, uh, the central cushion. So on a gas assist strut, you get good access all the way around this, uh, this Inmar uh, Assault 325 horsepower V8. So this is a, this is a 5.7 litre unit. Uh, it's electronic fuel injection so it's turnkey starting um, it's fuel efficient runs really well uh, and it's got loads of grunt um, for pulling even the, the heaviest weight motors out of the water even with a full complement of people on board here um, this is a, installed in a v-drive configuration and we've also got good access to the uh, to the gearbox let's remove this rear seat lift up the fiberglass cover and you've got really good access in there to the gearbox, the bilge pumps, um, some of the ballast pumps. Uh, service access for your daily checks and your routine maintenance is, is really good all the way around the boat. You will notice some of the pipes off in there uh, and, and in the engine bay in some of the pictures. Um, that's because the boat was winterized. It's still only um, March. So the, the owner had the boat fully drained and winterized at the end of the season. And it just hasn't been de-winterized yet. So we're not going to run this boat in the water. Um, just yet, because um, the owner's keen to get it advertised, we want to get it up there. Um, but hopefully, within the next week or two, we should be able to get some some running footage. Underneath the other two hatches back here, which again they're both on gas assist struts. You see, they're, well, they're huge big lockers, so you can store stuff in there. But we've all, they also house the uh, the rear ballast system. So I think standard in this boat, you would get just the belly locker uh, or the belly sack. Um, which is a 400 pound ballast bag. This, these two bags are um, optional extras which are installed by the factory on this boat so that takes the, uh, the full ballast weight from 400 pounds up to 1200 pounds and it really means that if you're um, a more advanced wakeboarder, um, fill the ballast system, it really kicks up a huge wake. Um, so it uh, makes this one more of an all rounder. I mean the hull is Really, the hull really wants the full, full bow system, so it's great that this boat has it. Coming forward, we've got a, a central opening section of the windscreen, and this windscreen is really, it's a really high quality unit. It feels great. That the, the hind system on here is, is better than you see in, on most standard sort of boats. Got a lovely sort of metal flake finish on the screen, and this nice stainless steel uh, insert in the top. Um, it just gives it the boat a really quality feel. You also get a good idea up in here, the gel coat finish around the, uh, the interior mouldings and things is all pristine. Again, stainless steel cup holders, more speakers up here as well. There's loads of speakers dotted, obviously there's a big kicker amplifier, very good sound system on boat, speakers dotted the whole way throughout it. Um, you get stainless steel handrails up here as well, and it's fully upholstered, um, big enough for at least two people to stretch out there. And we've also got storage and underneath these uh, cushions. So again, 
fully carpeted throughout and all the upholstery excellent condition. The boat has a great helm station, really well laid out dash, we've got a really good seat, lots of side bolstering in it, um, so it keeps you feeling nice and secure even through the tightest turns. Obviously the boat holds on fantastically well through the turns, so it's important you have a good helm position to keep you sitting tight. Um, this leather wrap steering wheel is a uh, full five position tilt on it. Um, in terms of the instrumentation, we've got two nice big gauges up front and centre which are the engine RPM. Currently shows 192.3 hours running time on the engine. We've got big speedo. We've also got the Perfect Pass speed control system um, with its digital readout set right in the middle of the menu buttons just below it. In terms of the instruments, we've got fuel gauge, engine temperature, oil pressure and battery volts. Um, and then we've got our switch gear for all our 12 volt systems down here. So we've got our navigation lights, cockpit LEDs, bilge pump, stereo and accessories. We've got the stereo is lives in the uh, passenger side glove compartment. Uh, we've got a, a remote control for it just here at the, the driver's right hand. You'll also notice we've got a, a gauge showing you the position of the wake plate here. Um, this is controlled by our hydraulic switch trim up trim down just on the left hand side of the steering wheel and the gauge shows the position of the plate so you can learn where each rider likes the likes the plate and you can set it really easily um, we're just making reference to the gauge points down at the driver's right hand the throttle lever is really well placed and we've got a molded in armrest just behind it um, so even if you're out driving for longer periods of time um, you're not going to get tired the lever itself is black anodized finish with a, a chrome effect ball on top and the throttle action is really smooth um, down below this then We've got our safety cut off, we've got our uh, ballast system controls for the for the pumps to fill and empty um, the three ballast bags on board and then we've got the heater controls down below here so um, again that's a great feature especially if you're serious into your wakeboarding and you're going out in the early season or late season um, for early morning runs or late evening runs um, means that the driver and the passengers on board can stay more comfortable um, while the riders are doing their stuff out the back. So it's just controlled very easily from the switch down here. The helm seat also has this flip up bolster. So if you have people sitting in the bow that you want to see over their heads, or if you're coming in to dock the boat, um, just gives you really good all round visibility. We've also got this huge water sports mirror mounted directly above the, the driver so you can keep a close eye on what's happening out the back of the boat. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of the, the condition and the features on this Moomba Mobius LSV wakeboard boat. If you've got some older kids that are really passionate about their wakeboard and they're starting to get good at it, um, but you've also got younger ones that are getting into the sport, then this boat, I think, um, it gives you the best of, of uh, all worlds. You can start the younger kids quite easily on it, uh, but it's also got the capability with the addition of the ballast system and the wake plate to keep the, the more advanced riders happy as well. The value is fantastic. Um, obviously Mumba have the reputation for building great value wakeboard boats. This one's no exception. I think you'll appreciate that for the price that this boat's advertised at, um, it's a serious amount of, of boat for the money. Especially considering all the options that are on board and the, the extras with the, the full 1200 pound ballast system, the hydraulic wake plate, the heater, uh, and just all the gear and equipment that's on this boat. Um, it's going to make an absolutely fantastic buy for someone. The condition is fantastic uh, all the way around the boat. Um, with only 190 hours on the clock, there's tons of life left, left in this boat, uh, and it's going to make a, yeah, just a, a great buy for somebody who's looking for an all-round wakeboard boat that can compete with the best tournament boats without breaking the bank. If you want any more information about this boat or you have any questions or you want to arrange to come and have a look at it then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Just drop me an email or give me a call. Uh, I'd be delighted to have a chat about this boat. 
like I said, we haven't been able to put the boat in the water for a, for a water demonstration today because the boat has been winterized. Uh, it's just not ready for the water yet, but we're hoping to get that done in the next couple of weeks. If you're really anxious to see the boat in the water or to find out more about it, just give me a call or send me an email um, and I'll do my best to help out. Thank you for watching.